Torpe, do your friend, towards the outward sun, and hold still do your outre, whom er said, God of Getter. Welcome to today's episode of Midgard Musings. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. My name is Jesse, and I'm the host here on this channel. I upload content every week that covers various topics of Norse heathenry, things that may strike my interest or fancy at, at the time. And there's also a, a various playlists of different series uh, type videos that I do. You can check the playlist section down for the uh, deity discussion series, for the hub mall discussion, for... Uh, a storytelling thing that I do here and there called Broggy's Corner, um, all different kinds of stuff. We recently did a rune study series, so definitely check all that stuff out. If you like the content that I put out or you like content like this, if you like things related to Norse heathenry, Germanic paganism, that like, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Ding the bell for notifications so that way you're notified every time I upload new content. Not only will you see my stuff, but you will also see other channels that have similar content that they publish um, and, and come across your feed as well. So you're supporting many of us out here that do this sort of thing. Uh, also check the description down below for different ways that you can support the channel through Patreon now. I've become a, a member of Patreon. I'm still learning that platform, so bear with me. Uh, stay tuned for the end of the video for the support that I give to anybody who is currently now a patron. And if you want to help support the channel, I've got a few different tiers of uh, patron levels that you can engage in so check all that out in the description buy me a coffee send us donations buy merchandise if you want to walk around and, and sport some really cool Midgard Musing stuff check all the uh, links down in the description for the Teespring and Bread Bubble store all right so now that we got that house cleaning stuff out of the way thank you for putting up with that by the way uh, let's go ahead and get into today's discussion we're going to be talking today about uh, Gefrain and I think that this is an important subject to take note of uh, for not just us as heathens, but uh, for people to kind of understand that are maybe non-heathen, to understand what this means to us and why heathens maybe behave or act or do certain things and, and behave certain ways, um, what this thing of Gefrain means, okay? Uh, so from an etymology an etymologic standpoint, or the etymology of the word, it is a proto it is has it has its roots in Proto-Germanic which is a language that predates Old Norse. And it, that word, and I may butcher it, but it's going to be uh, Freyjas. And it is basically the word that means renowned. Uh, you're well known, you're, how famous you are, your reputation, okay? And that's basically what the, the word Gefrain can be loosely uh, translated or defined as, as our reputation, okay? It is a person's value or their status, uh, their status in society, their status in the world around them, okay? And the thing with Gefrain is that it is built by our deeds and it is built by our actions, okay? It's not something that can be given to us. Uh, it is something that has to be earned and it is earned by our deeds and by our actions and by how we choose to live our lives. We can do things to give ourselves good reputation or we can do things to give us a bad reputation. And in the beginning of the video you may have seen or rather heard a stanza of the Hovamol that I uh, quoted, stanza 76, which gets repeated and said a lot nowadays and that is that cattle die, kinsmen die, we ourselves also will die, or you yourself also will die. Uh, the one thing that will never die is a good name or the reputation of one who has earned it. So it, it, it comes across in our some of our lore, okay, the Hogmaw being a poem contained in a collection of stories or, or poems or, or myths called the Poetic Edda. Uh, in the Hogmaw, it even brings up how important our reputation is. Um, Gefrain is earned, again, through our actions or our deeds, but it, it is, that's how it is won, that's how it is earned, but it is easily lost by less than our deeds. It can be lost through our words. We can lose Gefrain, we can lose that reputation by lying, being dishonest, gossiping, 
uh, breaking confidence, breaking oaths, um, doing things that will re reduce our trustworthiness among folks, okay? Um, it, in order to build the frame, we must act in ways that show that we're trustworthy and honorable. Um, and in, 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 in losing the frame by, by, by literally going back on our words, um, not keeping our oaths, that is how that frame is lost, okay? How we keep our words, our, our oaths, uh, supporting those in need within our, within our ability to do so, standing up uh, for what is right. Okay, um, there, it's, those are just a few of the ways that we today, as, as modern heathens, I feel, can uh, earn refrain, okay, and build up a good reputation. These are the things that people see that are known by individuals outside of our inner, inner circle, our inner guard. If you check an annotated card up here, you'll see a video that I did talking about what inner guard and Uten guard is, in case you're unfamiliar. Um, but... What is outside of our inner circles, what is Utengard, what is outside of the world, the world around us, our reputation, our renown, people who have never met us in person. Even, even as an example, uh, what you are perhaps uh, seeing right now on YouTube as you watch me, if we've never met in person before, even the ones, uh, folks watching live on Facebook right now. Folks that have never met me in person, that have never encountered me on a physical level before. My reputation, um, you know, our reputations precede us. You know what I'm saying? So our reputation, our refrain, is what is known by the wide world and, and by those outside of our inner circle, okay? Um, it grows more as people hear about the qualities of ourselves, okay? Um, obviously our renown, our reputation can grow and can build over time. Um, and it provides us with more opportunities because the more people hear of us, the, the, the greater things that people know of us, the more they want to maybe necessarily want to engage us in other things. This can be true in our jobs, it can be true in our service to the community, um, it can be true in a lot of different aspects, but we become more of a valuable asset to, to things and, and folks around us. Um, talking a bit about the etymology of words and things, we have another old English word, um, and again, if I mispronounce this for all the Anglo-Saxon heathens out here, I apologize, but it is arung, okay, A-R-U-N-G, and it's, uh, it's a word for respect, I think, would be a, would it would be a good translation or definition of it. Um, and in, in use in a modern context, it's the type or level of respect, specifically the respect that we receive from our folk inside, the inner yard, the inner guard, okay? Um, those who know our worth, those who have been around us to see what our worth is by our deeds, okay? Those that have actually physically been a part of watching us build our good frame. All right, so that respect, that honor, that level of uh Respect is, is d d dedicated to the inner yard, the inner circle, the inner guard. Okay, um, and it's best to you know keep it to that 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 level of respect that you don't give to anybody else. Um, the way that I like to look at Gefrain uh, is that it's kind of almost like our social credit rating. It's kind of what everybody else knows us as. If we have a low Gefrain, if we have a low credit score. Uh, people may not want to do so much with us. People may not want to engage us in, in too many things of value, um, of, of things that can build and expand and grow things because we're, we just don't really have that level of, you know, what you would get. Like, if, for example, in modern terms, what a credit score does for us. The world around us sees a, a good credit score. They're willing to give you money to loan, to, uh, you know, give you things to help you build upon that refrain, upon that reputation even more so. Um, and so, in our day-to-day -day lives, how we conduct ourselves, what we do, has a very important value on uh, the long-term refrain that we carry with us. Um, so, in, in modern heathen context, in a modern heathen context, since we're talking about this ancient view of things, uh, 
and how it applies to us in a modern human context. Uh, you know, why is our reputation so important? Why do we care? Because you'll you'll encounter a lot of folks nowadays um, who are like, you know what? I don't care what you think about me. I am what I am. I am who I am. Uh, you can love me or hate me. I don't really give a flip. You know, um, it's you know, take me as I am. This and that. And to that, I would say, you know, it's you have to be true. Be be true to yourself. Don't don't necessarily cater who you are to the masses view of, of what they think you should be. You know, don't don't bend who you are to fit a certain criteria um, or character, you know, stereotype or anything like that. Be who you are, yes, be true to who you are. But realize that your good frame, your reputation for being that callous, for being a certain way, is going to be an impact. There's going to be an impact on how people want to interact with you. Um, and, or not interact with you. They may want to avoid you because look at this guy. He's he's so full of himself. He's so, you know, absorbed into his own ways that he's you know he comes across like a real prick. You know, for a lack of a better term. So, be aware that yes, you want to be true. You don't want to bend or or sway or be something that you're not. You don't want to be fake. Um, but your reputation, what people think of you, is important. Um, and you should do things that give yourself a good reputation. You shouldn't be fake to sort of mask behind the reality, you know, and, and put up a good front. No, be true, be who you are, and then that reputation, that trueness, that truthfulness, that honesty, that, that justness, that, that being you are as you are, uh, will speak for itself. And you won't have to go about saying those things, because quite often I notice that it's the people who say those things that when they say they don't care, that when they say that it doesn't matter to the, to the world around them what they think, they're saying that because they want the world to think of them in a certain way. They want to be recognized. They want that spotlight shown on them for some reason. You don't have to seek the spotlight. You don't have to seek that reputation. Do the thing that will build a good reputation and you will build on that refrain. Now, another thing is, is interacting with people who have built good Gefrain. This is something that I've encountered recently um, because when you interact with, with people who have, have good Gefrain, um, this can be both good and bad, okay? It can be good for the person, at least temporarily, who maybe doesn't have good refrain. Maybe they haven't built such a good reputation. Maybe they don't have that, that good luck uh, that they've added to their own well. Maybe they're trying to start something new, start something fresh, and they found somebody or some buddies, some people maybe, a family for instance, who has some good things or is working on good things and their refrain is, is, is good. Um, and they latch on to that and they become a part of that. Um, you have to build your own refrain. You cannot latch on to somebody else and expect to get what they've gotten and it be yours. It's not how a refrain works. It's not how life works. This isn't how you can't just latch on to something and leech off of it and suck it dry expecting good things to happen. Because what will happen is, you know, like I said, you may, you may temporarily benefit from that good luck. You may temporarily benefit... Um, somewhat from that but it's going to ultimately it's going to damage first of all it's going to damage you it's going to damage you if you're the person who's leeching off of it because you like again you're just you're you're like a sponge and then a sponge eventually will dry up and it'll it, it needs that constant supply of a good source to leech off of and to, su to survive off of and you just it, it's a temporary fix to a long-term problem it's also damaging to the ones who have done what it takes to to build it because it, literally, it, it, it can literally just drain the energy and drain the, the, the good energies and powers that, that, that a person has built to, to have what it takes to, to be well known and have that good frame, okay? You know, so you coming into a scenario, I'm using that you term as, as a generalized statement, you know, somebody coming in to a situation, to a family, into a household, into someone else's life, 
and uh, maybe they're they're not in the greatest uh, financial position or maybe they don't have a home or maybe they don't have jobs or, or whatever or a vehicle anything that that you know you kind of need nowadays to make ends meet and do what you have to do to, to survive you know if you come in and you take what these other people have and, and try to build off of that to start something of your own you've you're you're, you're damaging that well you you're, you're you're literally sucking the water out of their well to survive. And then what, then what has to happen is that person or those people that have taken the time to add good into their well have now got to sort of replenish and restock and refuel what they've done, you know? So it's damaging on both sides when, when you do that. You may get a temporary fix. You may get that initial burst of good luck because you've got that sort of nitro pump into your tank of boom, like, ah, this is great, you know? I got people around me, I've got good support, I've got something going for me, but you know what? If it's not a long-term thing and you're not doing what it takes to to build it, uh, you're gonna it's it's gonna come crumbling down and you're not gonna have anything to stand on. The other thing is, is that if you started building it and you started to have that good luck and you're, and you're getting that good reputation, you're you're building on your good frame, you say something, you do something one time to betray someone's trust to betray their good nature to speak ill against them to destroy things that aren't yours to to disrespect and to you know to not hold in, in a high regard the folk around you who have taken care of you there you go step one of how to destroy what the frame you've built all right you want to do something to tear down the good that you've started to build up do one thing wrong against the people that have done it good towards you and you've just you've just literally destroyed everything that you've tried or worked to, to build so that is why i feel good frame is important uh everybody you know because and that's why you you maybe see heathens act in a certain way or do certain things how we carry ourselves how we speak how we conduct ourselves how we do certain things is because these actions these deeds will speak for us when we are not here to speak for ourselves when we have left this plane when we have left Midgard and we have entered the halls of our ancestors wherever that may be and we've, we've be left this physical you know uh, profane area and we've gone on to the realms of the sacred there is nothing that remains here but our reputation and our good name and that good name echoes on through eternity we want the we want our songs to be sung for generations. We want our descendants to know of how great we are. That's why we carry ourselves a certain way. That's why we say certain things. That's why we do certain things the way we do it. So hopefully this has helped shed a little bit of light on uh, the folks that maybe don't know about Gefrain and why heathens act the way they, they act. And then for those that are maybe coming into heathenry that are new to this, why it is important for you to build on that good friend why it is important for you to build your own reputation and to have something for people to want to talk about to know you for whatever it may be okay do something do good build on your own renown and the songs that your descendants sing will echo on through eternity so thank you all again so much for watching today. If you like today's video please give it a thumbs up. If you don't want to miss anything subscribe to the channel right here down below. Also in the end screen, you'll see some stuff pop up. Click the bell for notifications. That way you're notified every time I upload new content. Everybody that's watching live on Facebook, please stick around so I can read your comments. If you don't want to miss anything on the Facebook live stream, guys, go down into the description. You'll see the Facebook page link. Click on that, become a follower there, and join me every Sunday night at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time for these live feeds because sometimes I go into other stuff that is not uploaded here on the channel. So there's that kind of exclusive fun stuff. Please stay tuned for more stuff that comes through on my Patreon as I learn more about that platform and get to you know, understand some things that uh, help us all out. Uh, thank you to my uh, patrons who have become a Patreon supporter thus far. I appreciate you. Hail. Hail. Thank you all. I'll see you in the next video.